Welcome back to Malta Archery. Today we do the broomstick challenge. What does that mean? We simply put the broomstick as our target and we try to hit the broomstick. What does that do? It simply helps us focus on a very narrow target. Difficult of the height because it's a long straight broomstick. Uh, what it helps? When you aim small, you hit small. And when you simply aim for this thin piece of broomstick, you will instantly increase your accuracy. It helps you focus. You shoot a narrow target, so aim small, hit small, and it's a lot of fun. And when you do this a few times with the broomstick standing upright, and you hit it a few times properly, then you simply can put the broomsticks onto, onto thingies, left and right, and then you shoot the broomstick in this direction, and then you get it done. Then you get, first of all, you get used to the, the, the sideways uh, hitting or missing the target. And this is always really how you tilt your bow. When you tilt it more, the arrow goes more to the right. When you hold it upright, the arrow goes more to the left. So this helps you a lot getting the proper angle of your bow. And when you have the broomstick then like this, that helps you uh, estimating the distance. And I only found this slightly darker spot here on the broomstick where I aimed at or looked at. Let me see, one, two, three, four hits all in the same place. this one okay. oops down there that was my Mediterranean that was the hit from thumb, re thumb release so and when you're done with your vertical thing like I mentioned before put your broomstick somewhere where is it there you see it and then same as before. Now you get more feeling for the height. easier to get the right height than the sideways thingy so but you need to train both that you get the hang of it with the fifth arrow <laughs> my broomstick is broken but we'll do it again 16 meters something
I guess I have to stop now. Okay. Then you get things like this. It's a cool feeling and you know, learning, you learn best when you instantly get your reward. And there's nothing better than in archery, you instantly get your reward when you hit and your body memorizes it. This is, I did Roy, right? And then you have it. So, now I have Tonfa. A quick update to Alibo's mini bow. I made now my three arrows, not with this transparent tape, I use electrical tape. And I made two feathers, as you see, in 180 degree. Uh, the opposite, you know what I mean? Slightly Manchu style. Only two because when you shoot and you don't clear the passage and it's duct tape, it's quite, it's, it's flexible, but it's a little stiff, so you might deflect the arrow. And with two, should be fine, even ancient. Uh, in ancient times they did two. So now look at the flight. I made them white, so you see the arrow flying. Over there is my target. You see it there? You see that? Yeah, but not that straight. Never. Okay, group. First we learn how to shoot, and then we learn how to hit the target. Right? You need to get used to it again. A little lower again. Oops. Improved. Improvement. Done. Check.